vigilante group of Nigeria has been passed by the National Assembly, the recognized commander general of the group, Navy Captain Umaru Bakori, said the vigilante group is capable of complementing the police in securing Nigeria. In her introductory press conference in Abuja today, the vigilante group of Nigeria says there is no need for state police in, as vigilantes have local presence in all local government in Nigeria. He says they are ready to serve and contribute to the development of the nation. To show the solidarity with them, the vigilante group of Nigeria revealed that the University of Abuja has offered its members admission into faculty of their choice as part of efforts to enhance their skills in payments the issue of favoritism in employment against competence. Commander Bakori further appealed to the public to assist the vigilantes by dutifully abiding to the law of the nation. You see, the National Assembly had already rejected the state police. I'm aware of that. They have gone to the House of Rep and they rejected it. We are doing exactly the community policy, state police. If you check in the US, they have various names, sheriffs, uh, uh, they have different names in different states. But policing today has gone international. That is why we have Interpol. Then why limit police to your state where we can interface? We have local intelligent networking in vigilance where we network the whole country. Somebody can stay in Lagos and commit crime in the Abuja. How do you expect the Abuja police to arrest a criminal in Lagos? So that is why I said they don't need state police. We need local intelligent networking so that all our commanders will meet, they, they will conduct training for all of them, for them to know each other, to exchange phone numbers, to communicate, so that if there is any criminal hidden from one state to another, you can easily monitor him and inform the police. So, sincerely speaking, we don't need state police. If you are going to recruit, you are going to recruit people from your state. And we have people in your state who are utility members. What? Uh, finance is very, very important in any organization. But it's not the number one. The number one is the heart, the man himself. If you're determined, you can get things done. And we are very, very determined. We have been getting bits for our men. We have been getting assistance. Uh, I'm sure, Mr. Isaac, you are aware that uh, we have collaboration with uh, National Road Transport Union you know, workers. The president is supposed to even be here, but he traveled yesterday. They are assisting us very well. And with their population and their spread, and our spread, we have so many avenues of making little, little money and fixing our men to get jobs for them. So we don't have much problem with finance as of today. All we are after is let the government ascend to our bill. This will open more opportunities for our men. That is why we spend a lot of money on ICT. Because this is the only way the international organization will know what to do. We update our internet website daily, on daily basis, so that they will be acquainted. Right now, the Federal Ministry, the Federal Ministry, Ministry of Finance invited us, I think last sometime last year, on SEF schools. SEF school is United Nations program. And Nigeria joined. I think the third meeting took place in Nigeria. So, and uh, we are going to participate in that very actively. 
we wrote, we were invited by him to him. Mm -hmm. So, and we are looking out toward people like you to sell our ideas, to assist us. That is part of this interview. We can't do it alone. Thank you very much. And we will, please, somebody should talk this issue down. So we are going to create a party that will be in charge of international relationships. Thank you.